Greetings, salutations, and a good and glorious day to you all. You are viewing this for one reason, and one reason alone, to become part of the magic. You should have already watched and worked through the first two videos, Creating a Character and The King's English. If you've not done so, pause and go watch it. No, seriously. We'll be here when you get back, go. Have you returned? Excellent well. Of course, you know that we're not actually a village in merry old England, but so much of what we do relies upon the suspension of disbelief. We allow ourselves to believe it, even if only for a short while. And when we attend the festival as a patron, all of our senses are overwhelmed by the sights, smells, textures, tastes, and sounds of the fair. This is not just a job. Every person walking through that gate is a guest, to be swept up, entertained, served with a smile, and given another magical memory of our fantastical festival. This lesson is all about costuming that will help us maintain the magic. Let's begin! Ah, yes, this way we can do both. Approved costumes are in the fashion of the Renaissance or Elizabethan eras. Spandex, neon colors, tie-dyes, or bright prints are inappropriate unless you are working for a shop that sells them. Modern hairstyles or hair-dyed unnatural colors must be completely covered by a hat. No visible tattoos are permitted. Likewise, no visible body piercings other than pierced ears are permitted. This includes tongue, nose, and eyebrow piercings. As a matter of course, if you are working for a shop that sells clothing, congratulations! You are mostly done with this video. Wear your wares! But stick around, because we need to talk about accoutrement. Uh, oh, it's a French word for the crap that hangs off your belt. Period drinking vessels and utensils must be used, and you may as well carry them around with you. Your belt can hold pouches, purses, a mug, eating utensils, a period bowl, and so much more. As long as it's period appropriate and there's room, go crazy! But let's start from the top and go down. That's what No! For starters, men and women must wear a hat unless given specific exemption by the entertainment director. You may wear a garland, especially if you sell them, to substitute for a hat. The following items do not count as hats. Hair sticks, sprigs of flowers, barrettes, headbands, scarves, unless they cover your entire head as a wrap, or braids. Get it? Got it? Good. Uh, better. But now let's go to the most important and most used part of your body. That's what you- No! The most important and most used part would be your feet. This is where you should budget to spend some money. Athletic shoes, sneakers, rubber soles, all of these are absolutely not. What about these? No, never. No bare feet. Ladies should look into a round-toed boot, avoid suede or modern laces, pair of Mary Janes, or even simple slippers. But be warned, the site is more than 50 acres, and your footwear must be durable, cleanable, and comfortable, because we work rain or shine. For the gentlemen, also avoid suede. But a Western Roper-style boot, a biker boot, or a common work boot without modern laces, again, should work well for you. And although the boots of the time were rounded, a square-toed boot works wonderfully and has that cruder, handmade appearance that we like to call more period than period. What does that mean? When an accessory, article of clothing, or color scheme seems to be exactly in the Renaissance or Elizabethan time period, when it's actually rather far off the chart. Let's take pirate coats, for example. The golden age of piracy was in the early 18th century, but those big, long pirate coats just seem right, don't they? Sometimes we work outside the period, simply because it's what the audience expects to see. But never assume you can just put on any old thing and call it period. Always get approval before spending any money on costume parts. 
There is a plethora of ideas and information in the participant's guide. But let's cover some more about coverings. Uh -huh. Do I even have to say it? No phones. When you are working at the fair, that device should be dark, silent, and in a pouch or pocket. And while I'm at it, no visible watches, sunglasses, or other modern item. Let's talk about glasses. Obviously, if you need them to see, use them. <laughs> or as we prefer, contact lenses. But we recognize that it is a grueling day of high activity and all sorts of weather. So let us suggest some less anachronistic looking glasses. Try to wear round lens or square metal frame glasses that have an antiquated look for them. You can find several examples at very low prices online. Again, we are not saying walk around the festival blind, but do try and conform to the illusion we're creating instead of using your tinted lenses or plastic frames. Speaking of plastic, let's talk materials. Precisely, we want machine washable cotton or cotton blends that are woven instead of knit. Avoid pastels or neon, naturally. <laughs> In fact, naturally is exactly how we want you to go. Natural fibers, natural looking colors, and pattern fabrics should be woven in instead of printed. The participant's guide is jam-packed with suggestions, locations, shops, and examples. Let's get you all into something more appropriate. For the gentlemen, we can go anywhere from tights, with a dance belt or cod piece for modesty, to a kilt, or even breeches, so long as they don't look like sweats. For the ladies, skirts over a pair of bloomers, footless tights or leggings, Congratulations, you are now all dressed and ready to work for the festival. And remember, you can always add more layers or accessories. So please take note, every time you add a vest, waistcoat, doublet, jerkin, corset or bodice, you should always have a shirt underneath. No underwear without, um, underwear. You must wear a chemise under any corset or bodice. Think about all these things we've already covered, write them down, play with them, and then enjoy being your character in our village. Please remember that the participant's guide is packed full to bursting with suggestions and ideas, resources and links for complete costumes and basic materials alike. Use it, you. I have been Winston Tanius, and I am your humble servant. And remember, there is no festival without you.